<laughs> Welcome to day five. Yay. It's going by quick. I gotta yes. tell you, the weather has been great. Mm -hmm. We're in Nassau, Bahamas today. And I gotta say that the port is looking pretty good since the last time we were here. It mm -hmm. was full of construction last time. And uh, it was a bit of a crazy <laughs> pile of mess anyway. It was. And now it's all, it's all cleaned up. The Carnival Dream is with us today. It looks like a good ship. We don't know Carnival that well. But uh, yeah, looking to expand our knowledge there. We're heading into Breezes today, uh, which is a, we did the resort for a day. It's an all-inclusive drinks, towel service. They got like kayaks and paddle boards and we're gonna it's check it to out. Do. Yeah, a buffet, so it should be a good time. Well, we need cash for the taxis uh, over to Breezes. So, and of course, we didn't bring any this time. Yeah, we were so. very unprepared for this cruise. So a little tip is if you wanna save the ATM fees, cause they do have ATMs on the ship, you can go to the casino, take some money from your C-Pass card, transfer it over to one of the slot machines, yep. and then cash out and go to the cashier. Exactly. Your money. That should avoid the service fees. It's like the service fees like six or seven dollars. Yeah, it's, not it's absolutely nuts. And we're off. It looks like they've created all these little areas for uh, excursions now. So they have like meeting zones. Yeah. It's which a lot is more great. Organized. Very organized, yeah. yeah. Last time we were here this entire area was like dug up. Sand, sand. and dust and construction yeah, stuff everywhere, sure. yeah. They, quite a long port here now. It's a bit of a walk, but they have a tram service just like Coco K. So uh, I don't know if it's free or not, but you definitely will have to think about tipping at least. Check out this whole area, guys. I don't know uh, how new this is, but we were here in just before Co no, just after COVID. And uh, this wasn't here. Wow, I was just like remembering a little bit. Last time we came out, it was like a gated fence, like a, like a thing of a baseball diamond gated like fence and it was just chaos like everywhere so many people taxis like up in your face now there's like they have this cute little port shopping area everything's color coded yeah it's, yeah they've done like colors it kind of looks like little curacao houses it's very nice hey we're here breezes this is about 15 minutes i guess 15 minute cap yeah there's a little bit of traffic yeah. but oh. he was able to take us through yeah so it costs ten dollars per person but here's a tip when we were first um trying to catch a cab the first guy brought us to this van that sat more people People, and he's like, it's $35 for, for Kayla and I. And we're like, okay, well, kind of read that it's $10 a person, so we'll try to find a different cab. He was trying to insist that basically it's $35, and he was like trying to find more people, and I was like, no, 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 let's just go to another cab. Next cab we found, $10 a person. So just kind of be aware, like, they may try to kind of get you a little bit mm -hmm. if you just agree to the first one, but um, make sure you're not getting into like a shuttle and you're just getting into like a cab. Also, yeah, make sure it's like a marked cab. There's actually a secure area within the port where they let in marked cabs and shuttles and then catch those ones. It's, as opposed to going out to the street, you'll probably be fine if you went out to the street, but you could put a little layer of uh, extra caution there. We checked in, it was uh, 105 per person. We put down a deposit before we got here, but wow, check out this view, guys. <laughs> oh my God, this doesn't get old. I cannot believe how quiet and beautiful it is here. I I actually thought, based on the reviews, because I thought saw the reviews were actually pretty good, that it would be a lot busier. But wow, this is like a great place to come relax. This has been something we've been missing all trip, just because it's been like crazy pool atmospheres and things like that. So this is a uh, this is awesome. Kayla, I was just saying how this is such a change of pace towards the because uh, we just had like crazy pool atmosphere and like loud music and now this is just like you can only hear the waves, waves. Yeah. and it's beautiful yeah I talked to I someone who's staying at the hotel she's here for three weeks they said they've been having a good time so the food was good she said they were at a lower capacity so it's been super quiet and super relaxing and the breeze today is so nice I totally thought with the Oasis and the Carnival uh -huh. ship that it was going to be really busy here, but... I think everyone's going to like Atlantis or Margaritaville or... Yeah, the thing about Margaritaville is none of the drinks are included, so mm -hmm. you have to pay the day pass, then buy the then buy the, the food and the drinks. 
We're here, everything is included for 105, so. Pretty good deal. Yeah, and uh. And the beach is gorgeous. The beach is beautiful, check it out. Sorry if it's a bit windier, we're obviously on the beach, but this kind of has like, if you've been to Cosmel, it's got Nachi, Kakom vibes, like it's got the free Wi-Fi, very quiet, uh, it's got a nice pool, nice little beach area, all little huts that you could get, and uh, it's got all the chairs, everything, you don't need to pay extra, so very nice. The only test now on whether I would recommend this is going to be the food and the drinks, because the Wi-Fi is fast, and if you got good food and good drinks, what else do you really need? <laughs> for all you wonderful parents out there, they have a little kid's pool here. Not much for kids other than this, though. So if they just like bouncing around the pool, you're good, but they might get bored. Okay, Kayla's double fist in here. She's got the Bahama Mama. I'm hoping and, Brian's drink. And the Blue Breeze. So the Blue really Breeze good. is their signature drink, so she's gonna try that one. Taste the, um, it's sweet, but you yeah, could have blue, like a hundred of them. You cur blah, blue at Curacao. Yep. But after being to Curacao, we know this is probably not, it's not real one. Real Curacao. Yeah. It's imposter Curacao. <laughs> yeah. But it tastes the same. Okay. And the, how's the Bahama Mama? I see it's almost done. It's very good. It is like 35 degrees today. Something like that. And the UV index is 9.5 out of 10. Before we went on this cruise. Kayla and I were actually kind of upset about the Hurricane Lee situation and thought maybe we'll never cruise in hurricane season again. So let us know if you've cruised in hurricane season, if you got any stories for us. But uh, so far, we've done it two years in a row and we've been just blessed with great weather. If you're liking the uh, breezes today and you're liking the content, please give us a like and subscribe. You can follow us on Instagram, Kayla does all the live stories, at Ryan and Kayla. Also, if you want to show extra love and you're a super fan of Ryan and Kayla, you can join the membership for special loyalty badges, emojis, early access to videos, and that sort of thing. Let's get back to enjoying this beautiful day here in Nassau, Bahamas. Now, I just got the phone out. I'm sorry if the audio is not so good, but what would make this resort extra good is if they had a swim up bar. Now, I'm not sure if they do. I'm gonna just head on over to the bar and see if they'll serve me from the pool. All right, they serve me from the pool. My biggest critique so far, besides for the food, because we haven't gotten there yet, would be the activities. Now, there is nothing to do here but to eat, drink, and relax, which I know, that that's good enough. But I have like a, Kayla likes to sit and tan, I have to be doing something, so I'm always looking like, they do have a pool volleyball net, so I'm always looking, uh, you know, is there a pool volleyball game, is there paddle boarding, is there kayaking, I'm always looking for something like that. Um, the, the ocean is too choppy, so technically they do have it, but um, can't do anything today, so it's going to be tough for me just to sit there. But at least there's good Wi-Fi. So pretty good poolside menu, eh? Like yeah. hamburgers, fries, salads. hot dogs, salads. They even have like some Jamaican jerk chicken. Yeah, fish and, and chips. And um, conch fritters, which yeah. I think you would really like. You should try those later. I know. Yeah. Might come, have to come back here and try a few things. Yeah, I feel really bad for them because it's so hot in there and they must just be sweating. Yeah. I mean, life's about balance, okay? So we got the Greek salad, which looks fantastic. and. A little side of french fries and a little fun fact, Kayla and Ryan fun fact, Kayla loves dipping her french fries in mayonnaise. Yeah. I love the uh, Captain Jack Sparrow hat you got going on. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I like... <laughs> <laughs> I had it down like this to block the sun and then when we were talking to people I just like flung it up. <laughs> The beach is not bad. Uh, it's got uh, seaweed kind of everywhere. It's a little rocky on the entrance. Understandable but with the hurricane blowing everything in. Not the best beach we've been to, but not the worst either. So the colors are beautiful. Yeah. It's pretty.
pretty, but and like the sand is kind of like flour. Like when you're walking through, it's like white flour. Yeah, I know. You really sink in it. Yeah. It's kind of hard it's very to soft. Uh... <laughs> hard to walk. But yeah. Very soft. It's a very nice beach. And that concludes our day at Breeze's. This was That's a it. great resort. It was. Um, I was trying to think whether we would come back or not, or recommend our parents to come because we're supposed to be here next year on the Utopia. I think our parents would like it. It's like pretty chill. Yeah, it's a good, good yeah. resort. You know. Um, I don't like, typically like to come back to the same place too often. Like I like to explore new things, but so many other it had places. good food, good drinks, good, good Wi-Fi. The pool was good. The yeah. beach was not bad, right? Um, the pool was clean. The food was good. Yeah. I would come back. If you like what you saw today, I definitely recommend it. No complaints. Great time. Truly, no complaints. We are about to catch a cab back to the cruise ship, and uh, we're going back. It's about three o'clock, and all aboard is four thirty. So. We, we don't back. want a repeat of Disney. Yeah, we don't want to be late. didn't see the, the Disney Dash. Oh, the Disney out. Dash, that's good. And we're back at the port. That was uh, really easy, another 20 bucks, so yeah. 10 each. We're feeling a little wobbly from all the uh, <laughs> drinks we all had. All the free drinks. <laughs> yeah, so we definitely got our money's worth at the all-inclusive, but tonight we have, what, the Quest, we have a Zoomy. And then we're doing a and... game show called 60 Seconds or Less. Oh, but yes. that's if, okay, so we're gonna do a Zoomy. Yeah. We'll see if we can hit it. So a zoomie, 60 seconds or less. If you've been to a zoomie, you understand. Yeah, so have to do a zoomie. should be a fun night and we always do the quest. It's such a fun time. Oh. I hope it's in Studio B. Sometimes they mix up the location, but oh, yeah. I just like I the check. I just like the layout of Studio B for the quest. But we're gonna take a look around in some of these cute little shops here in the port and uh, it is in Studio B. Oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> so we got two sea days after this. We're finishing two up the Ryan and Kayla Olympics. Yes. And then we have the Carnival Jubilee in February. Brand new Carnival ship. Yeah. And uh, we had such a blast on the celebration. We can't wait for the, the Jubilee as well. So yeah. currently, hit that like, hit the subscribe. Let's keep having fun. Currently we've got another one, potentially, work commitments yeah. ending in May. But then Fingers we crossed have... we can make this one. That's the Mediterranean. Yes, which I'm so excited it's for. It's like Venice, Greece. Croatia, oh, it's a dream one. So a dream cruise, and then we've got Utopia of the Seas coming up in September. So yeah, technically I have friends he booked as well, but Kayla's like, I need to cancel that because we have too many cruises. We can't <laughs> do them all. Like, there's not possible. <sighs> Unless he has like a secret job I don't know about, or like a different stream of income he's not telling me. I just about. don't think I have enough a vacation sugar mama, days. <laughs> like somewhere, we, there's just no way. Stairs are tough. What is? <laughs> I was trying to play cool. The stairs were really <laughs> tough today. We did what? Only six? five. Nothing five? impressive. <laughs> it felt <laughs> yeah. impressive. What is our tall animal today? Uh, We've had a pig and an elephant. It's got to be. Is today the monkey? It's got to be. Monkey. What else is there? Well, we got nothing. <laughs> we didn't respect the towel animals enough. They didn't give us one today. Ryan has destroyed them every single day, left them strewn out on the floor, so that's your fault. Okay. Boom, just like that, fully recovered, out and about. We're going just to... Just took us like 20 minutes to just change and like... Refresh. Regenerate. Take we're going to... <laughs> we're going to get a, get a coffee and then schooner for our pre-dinner cocktail. We're actually going to try the general knowledge trivia and see how we do. Normally, we... I have zero general, general knowledge, knowledge yeah. We have very specific knowledge. Doesn't mean it's not fun. It does not mean it's not fun. So. Plus, we get to try another Schooner Bar drink. Okay, so we have almost tried all the new drinks at Schooner. Almost. We have... I'm like fairly impressed with most of the additions. So what do we have left here? Today I'm trying the Carrot Punch. It is... I thought I left it open to my page here. This menu is broken, but it is Captain Morgan's Original Spiced Rum, which I love. Campari, pineapple juice, lemon juice, and some simple syrup. Oh man. You got one? If they would have had this at the resort today, I would have drank 32 of them. <laughs> Okay, so we got 5 out of 15. We had a failing grade. 
But I am offended it, by our performance. They were tough questions, and we always have a hard time with like American uh, like presidents or history. Fifth president, and stuff. So I was like, I don't yeah. even know who our fifth prime minister was. Yeah, we have no American history knowledge, so those are always like automatic L's, and then uh, I feel like we some really, random ones. We really excelled in like entertainment mostly, yeah. and like basic questions, but yeah, some geography we did well, but yep, yeah, it was fun, uh, yeah, good time here in the schooner. It is. Just well, about that time. Not 12, so we weren't like. I mean, yeah. we were far off. But we 12 out of 15 would have been really good. They were hard questions. Yeah, nobody got a perfect score, so that but makes me feel better. It's time for us to go over to Izumi, which I'm really excited to have this like spicy Okinawa drink that Kayla and I just love. Love. And then we always basically get the same food there. If you've seen our vlogs before, you know what we're going to get already. So yep. we're going to head over and uh, see, see if they'll there. take us. So we're going with no reservation yeah. a la carte. So it's hopefully risky. I'm not just uh, lying to you here. But if we'll I can't see. get a Izumi, I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> so Izumi is on deck four which we hope is better than it sounds because typically we like there to be a nice view a nice restaurant so the first time i've ever been on izumi where it wasn't like the very top and this is also the first yeah. izumi we've been to that has the hibachi that's you true can hear it right now yeah we've done the hibachi before but we did it on carnival and we didn't really enjoy the experience especially with kayla's allergies so um the izumi sushi though every time Hopefully there's at least windows and we can get the kind of a beautiful scenery here. Let's check it out. Well, they had lots of tables. We always recommend doing that with heart because we say that big plates is always a, a great amount of food. It is. And actually we were kind of creeping over on the hibachi experience and we, it was so funny. They were actually like singing the same songs as they sing in the hibachi like carnival experience. Which yeah. is, so it's probably about the same which makes me feel good. I would still, I would probably rather try hibachi at Izumi. Because Just because we love Izumi. It's so good. Yeah. Like the rice is so good. And I, I wouldn't be opposed to trying the hibachi again. Yeah. But. This is just like the sushi side, yeah. you can't go Guys, wrong. Guys, as you know, Azumi is our favorite Royal Caribbean restaurant, so. Free, vegetarian, vegan, like they got your back. <laughs> okay, it has got their vegetarian sushi as usual. It's honestly so good. Like, it's not it's on the sticky. menu. So if you are a vegetarian and you want it, you just have to ask for it. So it's cucumbers, carrots, and avocado. And for me, they bring me a special soy sauce, which is the gluten-free soy sauce. It looks good. It looks fresh. <laughs> so good. I've like, had a lot of sushi. I have a lot of vegetarian sushi. Bar none, 100%. Izumi is my favorite. Okay, guys, as I said, <laughs> I always get the food immaculate. Behind the seat, it's massive. You can do it, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to be able to talk for like a few minutes, so basically it's the best thing he's ever had and it's the biggest bite you've ever taken. Good Kayla's got her <laughs> fried rice there. It is. That's a, a lot of rice. Big bowl of rice. So they made this for me special on uh, the grill separate from everything else. So this is officially gluten free. Oh god. And they brought me a gluten free soy sauce as well. So. It is steaming hot, I can see it, smoking. Like, it just never disappoints. It's so good. <laughs> Zumi never disappoints. It's probably my favorite food ever. Like, yeah. it's just We best. love it. We have to come at least once. Yeah. Okay. If you haven't had it, you have to try it. Yeah. Because you'll understand. Yeah. Moving on, we got the 60 Seconds or Less game show. That's going to be Music in hall. the Which Music Hall. We haven't soberly been there yet. Yeah, we went there on day one, but I honestly don't remember it, like, at all. So, <laughs> we're going to go back, uh, check out the menu, the drink menu. I yeah. really like the drink menu in Music Hall on the Ovation, so I hope they have the same kind of drinks. Mm -hmm. After that, and then, we're going... Okay, and then we got the adult friendly feud. We never did this, but I know that Carnival does family feud and it's a blast. So I'm hoping it's kind of the same. And it's in the karaoke area, so. Just kind of small. It's, it's a small venue, which I actually prefer for this kind of thing. So, and then we have the Quest tonight, so. Yeah, and Quest is in Studio B, which is like the ice skating rink. So that should yeah. be a good venue, actually. The Quest is awesome. Stay with Quest. us. Oh, if you haven't done the Quest, like okay. you're missing out. Definitely get some good videos of the Quest. Oh, yeah. 
It's and a lot then, of fun. Uh, yeah, there'll be a lot of people because it's on the Oasis ship, so it sh should be some good participation tonight. <laughs> those calories somehow. We got a front row seat for you guys. Front row. Yeah, we also got recognized by one person. Yeah, shout out to you, Dan. Thanks yeah. for coming to say hi. Really nice to meet you. Thanks for all the kind words. Yeah, thanks for the shout out on my Dominican Republic clip jump because <laughs> yeah. it just brought back some like PTSD like memories, but that was such a yeah. good day. <laughs> well, we're here uh, just waiting for the game show to start. 60 yeah. seconds or less. We'll capture a couple snippets for you guys. We've done this before but. on Symphony, and actually Ryan participated in one of these. Do you remember? Yes. Uh, I have a video I, of it somewhere. I, I don't think it. I won, but I, I it was, you know, I was good though. I was good. What was yours? Like pencils? It was something, something to do with pencils. Yeah. I think you had to like balance. Oh, like throw them up and catch them in the air something or something. Like that. If I can find the video, we'll link it here. <laughs> <laughs> There's no video. I have a video. Like this. Everybody, so whoa! Yes. Okay. The 60 seconds or less is always a lot of fun. It's always Kayla so funny. had a hilarious story. It was I like found Ryan's video. It was a video of me doing the exact same game on the Symphony. I think it was like four years ago. It's embarrassing though because I'm wearing like literally the same floral shirt and pants that I was wearing. Two. And I was like, I gotta get some new clothes. Like that's bad. But I don't know whether we'll be able to show it. We'll see. It's on an old phone, right? So it's not as good. But uh, if I'm able to show it, I'll show it like somewhere in today. But uh, if not yeah. check Instagram because I probably posted it. We're just hanging out on me. Uh, on the boardwalk. I'm gonna get a beer at Playmakers, I think. Our next thing is the uh, Family Feuds style yes. stuff. The Adult uh, Friendly Feud. Adult, it's basically Family Feud uh, on the promenade, so. And then we have Crazy Quest. We're gonna do a little uh, unofficial Ryan versus Kayla competition here. Doesn't count for the Olympics. So doesn't count towards Olympics? No. Are you scared fun. because I beat you once before? I'm a little scared. Kayla kicked my butt last time. Playmakers has a really great vibe for watching the game. We just had uh, Eagles game on, NFL. Um, and there's like, I'm surprised by how many people have jerseys on, honestly. A lot of people. Like, everyone in this bar here has a Eagles jersey on. Not everyone, but there's this like half the section. I, I was starting to wonder if it was like rented because everyone was wearing Eagles. I didn't get a picture of them. I felt kind of weird doing it. Well, but the doors were closed too, so it's not like you could readily walk in and get in there. So, um, anyway, Playmaker seems like a really good vibe. Listen to that. And the Aqua 80 is going on at the same time, so it's yeah. like, must be so distracting. Yeah, <laughs> so now that you see, we're not making it up. We're not making it up. Awesome, but no the, I showed in, uh, I think yesterday when we ate at Playmakers, they actually have a menu of all the games they're kind of showcasing. The atmosphere is pretty awesome. We are here at the Friendly Feud. We were here 30 minutes early. And people were pushing past Caitlin and I to get a seat. Like they need to put Friendly Feud in a different this needs space. Needs to be a bigger venue. Because nobody left the family charades, yeah. so everyone is trying to pile in, and no one's leaving, and so there's yeah. just a mass chaos. Yeah, it's people are like throwing fists. I think for the spots. Oasis guys, you got to get here pretty early for like really uh, early your venues. Thirty to forty-five minutes, honestly. It's yeah, exhausting. Yeah, it's bad. Something you do before going to sleep. Brush your teeth. Yeah. Brush your teeth. And some of the songs. Brush your teeth. Royal. Royal Caribbean. Royal. Royal. It's number one. Celebrity. Laura. Can I just come back down here? Oh. Uh, Disney. 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 Disney Cruise Line. Norwegian. NCL. 
and Sally Sands and Sia. Carnival. Carnival. Oh, Royal, Royal, Royal. You did so bad at the Family Feud. Like we played the wrong way. Yeah, you played the wrong, yeah, the wrong way. The wrong amount of guesses. Just. Not could, right at people all. People were like screaming at yeah, the stage. Saying, like, like, oh, that's, that's not the not way. How you play. Yeah, and like, okay, if you've seen Family Feud on Carnival, I know like maybe a lot of you are royal uh, cruisers, but Carnival takes their Family Feud seriously. Very like, seriously. you are not allowed to yell. If you yell something, the cruise director Lee would like yell at you. Yeah, they'll kick you they'll out. They'll kick you out. It was really kind of disorganized venue, and. Venue was way too small. Everyone was like yeah. pushing through, trying to get a spot. It was really. Cutthroat. Yeah, I know it's all fun in games, but when like pe people are like yelling out the answers, giving that person up there uh, the answers, it kind of like, ruins it. But, yeah, no buzzer or anything. Like it was it's just kind of like you want to try, you want to play. Yeah, it was basically just like a PowerPoint thing, and they just went through it. I was just like, it was okay. After seeing the way Carnival does it, I was like, wow, they do a great job. After the first few yeah. questions, they're like, well, they're not playing right, so they just got up and left. Yeah, as embarrassing as it was, Kayla and I still had fun and that's the most important part yeah so at the end of the day does it really matter no we had a good time we're getting ready for the quest coming yes. up yes now if we've learned anything in the last four days it's you have to get to every venue the most early that you yeah. can possibly think of like an they say, hour yeah they say they're gonna open the doors 30 minutes before but we already know there's gonna be a line, line to get in an hour before. and uh, we don't really care where we sit we just want to be able to film Let's it see. for you guys and to have a good view like we're not gonna be participating Participating. We've kind of been there, done that. Like we so. said, we've already won twice. So yep. we've retired our two-time two champions. Yeah, two-time champions here. Yeah. So we're retired. Gentlemen, what we are looking for, we want to see the oldest guy and the youngest guy working together as a team, yeah. Dirty Dancing. Ah. Go! Okay. I think I like, lost done. a little bit of my voice from the quest. Yeah, that was a good one. They, uh, a good one. they definitely was a little more of what we were used to, I think, in yeah. terms of how fun and uh, inclusive and like kind of spicy it was. So that was really fun. So that concludes day number five. We got two more sea days on the way back to New Jersey. What a cruise it's been so far. Mm -hmm. Please give us a like and subscribe if you enjoyed any of the videos. <laughs> So far today, you can follow us on Instagram at Ryan and Kayla. And also, if you want to show a little extra love and support for our channel, you can always hit join, which is uh, joining our membership. You get emojis and fun little loyalty badges and early access to videos and that kind of thing. But we got two amazing sea days. We hope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, coming up, and uh, we hope to do a ship tour for you guys, at least in the main areas. It's a big ship, so we'll see what we can do. Yeah, tomorrow we have formal night coming up. Yeah, formal and night, Giovanni's. We've got the red party. Red party, still so much 70s to do. disco party. That's the thing about these Oasis ships, there's always stuff to do, Every day. so... <laughs> We've never been bored or like, what do we do next? It's always been, oh my God, we're racing we're to, the next, to the next thing. So, hope you've been enjoying the uh, the cruise along with us. We've been uh, appreciate all the support and all the kind words we've received. We've even bumped into many people throughout the ship. Now it's kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of weird that when they come <laughs> up and say to, to us hello, us, yep. but it's been amazing. Someone came up to us today and just said, we, "You helped us out a lot." And uh, yeah, Dan. That yeah, that was really something Shout special. So. Uh, we appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow for our sea day. Mm -hmm. Good night, everyone. Good night. Just kidding. Pizza time. <laughs>